Yo, what's going on, buddy? This is Don't Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is we're going to be discussing the MLB and why I think they have a problem, not only with just the MLB umpires, but players as well, because there's the whole situation going on with, like, the whole grip, uh, the spider tack thing, pitchers illegally using, like, illegal substances to get a grip, and recently on the uh, MLB Sunday Night Baseball Game of the Week between the Cubs and the Mets, we had a little bit of an issue happen. Edwin Diaz, the closer for the New York Mets, whenever they were playing against the Chicago Cubs, the game was pretty much wrapped up. It was 5-2, to two, the Mets were leading, and the Cubs came on. It was the bottom of the ninth. The Cubs had a chance to try to maybe make a comeback win. And when Diaz is the closer, he came on to try to close the game out. I'll have the clip up on screen and I'll also put a link to the uh, video of it down in the description below. But he basically had come out onto the field. He didn't even, I think, really do any warm-up pitches. And the umpire was already walking over to him. He was like, hey, what, what's going on here? He was trying to look at him, trying to feel his hands, feel his neck, feel his body. I guess everything to kind of figure out what your why your hands look like the way they do. According to Edwin Diaz, he said it was just rosin and dirt and sweat. It was just what pitchers have been using here a lot lately. And for some reason, this MLB umpire was like, no, that is not that because I felt up for it. And it, that feels way too sticky. According to the MLB, they have so many rules in place where like they check these pitchers all the time. So it's like, why would these pitchers even try anything when they know they're going to get checked? There's apparently cameras in the bullpen. So it's like, there's no way to like slip something in on your hand, slip something on your belt, your hat, etc. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to living in the world that pitchers know it's illegal and that they're going to stop doing it so what i want to talk about is why i think these umpires need to chill out a little bit with this rule and not chill out in the way that they need to just let them do it but chill out in the way that they need to learn how to enforce it in a better way and what i mean by that is be able to investigate it in a more seamlessly quicker kind of and more thorough way i'll kind of explain more as we go on to this video so without further ado i'm gonna stop rambling and i'm gonna get straight into this if you're going to enjoy as always make sure you go and drop a like on this video be very much appreciated if you do so but without further ado Let's get into it. Now, like I said, whenever it came to Edwin Diaz being injected, uh, this was actually said after the game. As for those of you who did not see the uh, whole thing, he was given a 10 game suspension afterwards. Like I said, the umpire said he had something sticky on his hands and he pretty much said he's got to go. Now, like I said, I understand not using anything sticky, like using like illegal substances like spider tack was one of the ones that you can see here that they're trying to just get out of the game. They don't want you using anything that they deem illegal. And the reasoning why is because it's going to give you an unfair advantage. It's going to make you be able to grip the ball way too uh, precise. And then that kind of started a spark, which I actually like this uh, debate that the pitchers and the players around the league are actually trying to point towards the MLB and say like, hey, Maybe you should let us at least use rosin and the dirt and the sweat because this is what it can do. As it says here, pitchers need to be able to grip the ball properly in order to be able to control where they're throwing a dangerous projectile, which I like how they phrase that, and the interpretation of and enforcement of the rules is ridiculous. Because basically right now what they're doing is almost like anytime they find anything somewhat sticky on your fingers and if rosin, uh, dirt, and sweat is making it happen with these players, they're going to pretty much like look at it and be like, nope, your hand's too sticky, your, fan, your hand's sticking to mine, nope, you're out of here. Now, you can debate this in like two different ways, and I'm going to try to explain it the, the best way I can. Does the MLB just not want players to be able to grip the ball at all, or like not be able to hold on, stick to the fingers, anything at all? Is that what they're trying to go for? Because if that's the case, I'm sorry, what it just says here is going to spit facts for what the MLB needs to understand. We are throwing a dangerous projectile. These guys are throwing the ball... Close to 100 miles per hour. Some pitchers can throw the ball 100 miles per hour. Some guys can throw curveballs, sliders, splitters up to 90 miles per hour. Do you realize how fast that ball goes? And imagine if they can't get a grip on the ball because, oh, you can't use uh, now. Some They might end up getting to the point where they're like, nope, you can't even use the rosin bag anymore. Get rid of that. Do you not want them to be able to grip the ball? And then all of a sudden you're going to have like a league high uh, batters getting hit by pitches because these pitchers can't grip the fuck out of the ball. The other thing I don't like is the fact that uh, I said it already. The umpires could just eject a player. Uh, because, like I said, just because they touch your finger, they say, oh, you're too sticky, you're gone. Sometimes I wonder whenever they go out there and they talk to the pitcher, maybe the manager comes out, do they talk to them and say, like, what did you do? Did you touch anything? What's on your hand? Come clean with me. Is this, what is this on you? What, like, sometimes these players will, like, rub something on their neck. Like I said, their belt, their head, the bill, their hat, uh, sometimes on the shoulder. They'll try to play it anywhere possible. Now, when it comes to the MLB and possibly trying to, like, go through these rules and be like, man, these players are still cheating. Are they going to get to the point, like I already said, are they going to get to the point where they're going to just, like, dismantle and say, nope, the rosin bag is gone like what are they going to do next as i said they're only using rosin sweat and a little bit of dirt what are they going to do get rid of the rosin bag and then what next they're gonna be like you can't use dirt and you can't use sweat well i sweat all the time when i play baseball and the whole field is pretty much dirt so unless we're going to go play somewhere like uh the old-fashioned toronto blue jay stadium where their whole field was nothing but grass and there was no like little dirt mounds anywhere unless they're going to do that make us play in like a 20 degree freezing fucking stadium so we're not sweating at all and take away the rosin bag 
I don't know what their plan is. Now, here's kind of my last little thing I kind of want to cut touch on before I wrap it up. There's a part of me that wonders could letting them use, not really use the sticky tag because that was like those pitches you could tell. Holy shit. Like there was like the sliders, the splitters where it's like I can see a disgusting pitch. Those pitches were d just vile. It was almost like if you go back and watch like highlights from the 2020, 2021, 2022, you know which pitchers were using it and what pitchers were not. I almost wonder should these players be allowed to use something or like if rosin, dirt, and sweat is enough to kind of replicate that in some sort of way, should they let them just be with that? And if it's giving a tiny little bit of stickiness, so be it. Like the word said, dangerous projectile. When that ball is going 100 miles per hour, do you want your guy, the pitcher, to be like the ball slipping out of their hand they're trying to control the ball or do you want them to be able to be precise and if they're aiming for that inside corner of the plate and the ball comes loose because they don't they can't get any grip on it it's gonna fucking drill a dude in the face whereas if they do have something and they can kind of get a grip on it they'll be able to put that ball right where it needs to go whether they're going inside outside uptown downtown wherever they want to put that ball they can get a grip and they can put the ball where it needs to go but ultimately kind of wrapping it up here's my final points i think there needs to be changes with i would say just like umpires in the way of how they kind of review and figure out if a player needs to be suspended or not i almost wonder if like the mlb umpires if they're the ones reviewing it should they have like a professional person within every stadium i realize it's going to cost money but they need to have like a professional person within these league or within the stadiums that can go out and check the player they did they, they need to have a player out there in the outfield or in the bullpen checking the players whenever they're out there in the bullpen have like a rules analyst person whatever they need to do somebody sitting there that's like watching the players watching them if they get up to warm up keep an eye on them if a bullpen pitcher is getting up to start pitching no matter what inning it is you watch that motherfucker from the time they get up take their hoodie off when they're warming up stretching throwing getting ready and then whenever they get called to come into the game you watch them walk down that tunnel all the way around the corner out onto the field and then once they're jogging on the field you, you let them go you ignore it then you start watching everybody else because i fear it's going to get to that point where the mlb is going to be like we're going to watch you motherfuckers like a hawk to eliminate the spider attack and like i said i think the spider attack is gone it's just the fact that if these players are truly like i said truly using rosin dirt and sweat and they're getting all over in a hissy fit about that Oh, we got problems because we're going to get to the point where the MLB is going to be throwing pitchers out for bullshit reasons. And it kind of makes me wonder with Edwin Diaz, if he's getting this 10 game suspension, sh who says that this somebody couldn't have gone out there and checked after he got this or thrown out of the game? Could somebody been him down the tunnel and like checked him again, maybe get a couple of different opinions and somebody could have been like, OK, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take spider attack or we're going to take all these other different substances and we're going to put it on our hands and we're going to check it or maybe take up, take somebody else, take some, take somebody who's very sweaty. It's going to be disgusting, but wipe somebody's sweaty face, get some sweat on your hand, rub it in a little bit of dirt, take the rosin back, pat it around, and then take your hand, compare the Diaz's hand, and compare the two. If they feel the same, you can be like, oh, sorry, Edward, you're, you're fine. You're probably still ejected because it'd be kind of awkward to let you go back out there, but your suspension's gone. And if it doesn't feel the same, and you can take the hand that was, uh, I guess you could say the legal hand, and it doesn't feel the same as Edwin's hand, and Edwin's hand maybe feels a little bit more stickier, you could be like, Okay, yeah, you might be using something. You're 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 gone. Like I said, there just needs to be a few changes, and they, they need to get on top of this shit. But other than that, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. Hopefully, you guys did go and enjoy today's video. If you did enjoy, as always, make sure you go and drop a like on this video. Be very much appreciated if you do so. If you wanted to watch the entirety of today's video, thank you very much. And like I said, if you have your opinion, do you agree or disagree with anything I said? What do you think about the MLB and like how they're kind of doing this whole thing with the uh, sticky substances? Do you think they need to make some changes? Do you think they need to uh, crack down more on it? What do you think about the pitchers? Do you think they're still cheating, not cheating? Do you think they should be allowed to use, like I said, the Raz and Dirt Sweat? Do you think that's fair? Whatever you're, or if you're hearing anything different that I'm hearing, whatever your opinion, maybe whatever comes with the whole situation, leave your complete opinion and anything you're hearing down in the comment section down below. Be more welcome to talk about with you guys. If you're a fan of the content that I do poster and you want to go and hit that big red subscribe button, feel free to do so. And do not forget to hit that little notification bell to be notified second to post. But without further ado, this has been Don't Talk Sports. Have a great day. Peace.